So, you guys want to build your own arcade machine, and you want old Jeremy to show you how. Well, let's get right into it then. Sugar! So, buying an arcade machine outright, you can see here that it's pretty expensive depending on the machine you want. Just a standard Simpsons arcade machine goes for $3,495. And just scrolling down, 3,000, 12,000, 7,000. Uh, you can get the arcade one-up machines that are pretty cheap, but in my opinion, they're just too tiny, too small. You know, you have to sit in a chair to play those. I like those stand-up arcade machines, you know what I mean? Something like this. I don't know what the fuck that is for $155, but that ain't right. So, I think the best thing that we can do is just build our own. Problem is, this project probably will be a little costly, but you know me, whenever I try to get you guys to buy something, I like including price points in all my projects, whether it be for modding tutorials or for what we're doing today. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I've done to this point, how much I'm spending currently on my project. So to start off, we need the guts. And for this, you can use a Raspberry Pi 3, which I kind of recommend. Price-wise, you know, $34 for a Model B, not too bad. But I'm going to be going with the Raspberry Pi 4 because I already have this on hand because of the last video that I made here with the whole setup and whatnot. So this is a little more costly. It's about $100, but, you know, you get the case, you get the SD card, everything comes included. You get the two HDMI cables. You get, you know, everything you could possibly need is in this kit. Plus, you know, the Raspberry Pi 4 is a little bit better than the Raspberry Pi 3. So that's what I'm going to be going with. So I'm going to mark this kit at $100, although I didn't buy my Raspberry Pi. I actually got it as a gift from a friend. Almost fucked up my speech with that one there, but got it as a gift from a friend. So uh, I'm going to mark my price still at $100 because this is what you will most likely be spending if you're building this from scratch. But if you already have the Raspberry Pi, you're good to go. You know, it's a good start. So, the next thing you're going to need is an arcade machine. So, I did a lot of Google searches looking into cabinets, custom-made cabinets, uh, just, just old, like, let's say, Donkey Kong cabinets that I could refurbish myself and put whatever in. And I ended up finding this site. Uh, no, I shouldn't even say the site. I ended up finding this guy on Etsy, LEP1 Customs, who makes a lot of custom arcade cabinets. Um, if you just look at this, he has the bar tops for $159. They do sales from time to time, free shipping, free shipping. Uh, they have the double set cabinets, you know, two player cabinets, uh, different sizes. Like this one here is a, for a 23 inch monitor or TV, whatever you want to put into this. I ended up going the bigger route and I bought this LVL 32 J huge two player upright cabinet. So I did spend $419 on this, uh, but I do believe it was on sale at the time when I bought it. So I want to say I spent 350. I could be a little wrong. Uh, just keep an eye out for whenever these are on sale. Um, but the dimensions and everything in this are exactly what I wanted it to be. It's about 64 inches tall, 31 inches wide, so it fit perfectly in my room. It can fit up to a 30 in 32 inch screen, which is what I wanted for when I'm playing two players with friends. You know, you don't want to be bumping elbows and stuff like that. You want plenty of room. Um, it's got room for two four inch speakers, which I already happen to have, so I'm not going to be including that price point into this. Um, you know, obviously the joysticks, the buttons, it's got the Sanwa pattern that you can have. Uh, it, it's optional, I believe, when you check out if you, you know, which pattern you want. Um, you can have the option for the trackball, which I'm not going to do because I don't give a shit about bowling and golf and all the other, you know, stupid kind of cabinets. But uh, in my opinion, anyways. Uh, here's all the total dimensions of this cabinet. You don't have to go with this. You can go with the others. You know, if you a single cabinet floats your boat, go for it. Uh, here's just some pictures of other people's completed work, which I'm really digging this guy's cabinet. Uh, if, if you look at his colors here, he's got the sky blue going on it with the yellow trim. I love that. I honestly think I might have to take this for myself. I won't include this. It looks like an Atari stripe here. Uh, I'm not going to go with that. Maybe just the blue with the yellow. Just because if, if you look at our channel here, uh, our icon has the sky blue and the banner here has the yellow so I just I really think that'd be perfect for us so paint wise I think I'll be going with the blue and yellow in the future but uh, b back to the cabinet here um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this cabinet I'm gonna wait for it to get shipped in and I'll continue the video from there but before we do that I also want to show you what else I'm buying here um, 
I'm going to buy this arcade kit, two player classic arcade, do it yourself, USB encoder, you know, this whole long list here. Uh, it's essentially buttons and joysticks that I'm buying from Amazon for $39.99. It's not a bad price. It comes with, what is this, two, four, six, eight, eight action buttons, two coin buttons, player one, player two button. Uh, these little encoders here that you can see on the left and on the right are for the Raspberry Pi. So it's essentially this is player one, this is player two, whatever you want it to be. Uh, there are other options for different colors, but I'm just going with this. I like the, the blue and red. Uh, these buttons actually have an LED feature, so they light up. So that's pretty cool i think i'm gonna go with that uh there's other options for this here uh, i believe this is like some type of encoder so you can control the lighting switch it on and off uh, i don't care about that i don't mind if they're permanently lit or permanently unlit don't really care so i'm just gonna go with how this is as is so uh the next thing i'm gonna grab as well is get a 32 inch tv i looked on best buy and this seemed like my cheapest option so for 109 dollars, i can get a 32 inch insignia uh, i actually already bought this tv i went in and i was like hey let me get that and i did find it for open box so i got it for 92.99 so i already cut my price down there so that's pretty good the only problem is when you buy something open box you don't really know what's wrong with it till you get it unfortunately sort of for me uh this tv did not come with a stand which i didn't need so who cares um it didn't come with a manual i can get that online so again who cares but it didn't come with the hardware uh meaning the screws and stuff for wall mount or you know to install the stand or anything like that that i kind of needed so i had to take a trip to the hardware store and i had to buy some bolts for this but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Uh, one thing that you're gonna want when you're grabbing a monitor like this, make sure your inputs here are on the side of the TV. You don't want them built in, I shouldn't even say the side, like the back, back side of the TV, if that makes sense, right where my arrow is pointing here. Um, if you have it on the side right along here and you go to wall mount this into your cabinet, you're going to have a hard time sticking an HDMI cord or VGA or whatever you're going to use with your project in, into there. So I'd recommend something that either sticks out on the bottom here or, you know, along the side of the complete back of the cabinet or I shouldn't say cabinet, the TV. So I'm going to buy these and uh, I think what I'm also going to do is for here, uh, he does say what size the buttons are. Yes. So um, standard arcade buttons. Uh, yes. So the 16 action buttons are 30 millimeters and the coin and start buttons are 24 millimeters. So I'm going to write this guy a message and ask him if he can drill them all to be 30 millimeters because that's what I believe these buttons call for. And um, I'll get back to you guys when I get all the supplies. See you soon.